What's up everybody? Brian here. Welcome back to another episode of Fish and Control. Today I've got a very special episode. I know I say that a lot, but keep trying to do it. This is an episode I've been wanting to shoot for a really long time, pretty much since I started this channel. Um, it's a unboxing and review. It's an item I've seen a lot, and I know you guys have probably seen a lot on Amazon, and if you uh, are into the wish thing you've probably seen it you've maybe even tried it um, uh, we're gonna be doing uh, I brought some some little micro lures I brought my my micro tackle box with me um, it's a very special product it's a very special product um, I actually uh, it came in about a week ago and I was like okay well I'll just run up to Bass Pro and get some line for this thing and I actually had to, they didn't have it. The lightest line they carry in stock at, at most stores seems to be four pound test. And I needed two or one for this thing to be, to be right. So I had to go online. And um, I know John B shot a video recently with one pound test and if I hunted around I probably could have found it but I had to order ice fishing line this is two pound test ice fishing line so one of the lightest lines that they make all right here, here we go at the unboxing here we go telescopic pin fish rod mini fishing rod it's it's about as big as I expected it to be and the reel is good and tiny so mini fishing rod this is the, the short one they do make a longer one and a medium-ish one. Um, here's the back information. How nice of them to give me operation instructions on the back here and even maintenance instruction. <clears throat> they show the reel upside down, but anyway, so uh, we're gonna give this a try. My real goal is to find a, a good little tiny ass micro spinning reel and it's, a, it's really going to go on this rod sometimes unless I'm traveling, which that'll be cool if it works, but I'm, I got this little uh, Bass Pro Power Plus graphite 5 foot light action. It's really a 4 to 8 pound, but it should work with 2 just fine, 2 to 4. But we're going to try this guy out. Let's get it opened up. Alright, here we go. Opening it up. Does this already come with some line on it? That would be sweet. Oh, look at this tiny little guy. I'll save this in my pocket. Look at this tiny little guy. Pocket spin from Emrod, E-M-M-R-O-D. Says some, some line, oh, it's very, all very light plastic, obviously. Honestly, pretty smooth drag. The drag is probably stronger than the line by a lot. Uh, line capacity, one pound, 120, two pound, 60. Makes sense. It's an XM100 gear ratio 4.3 to 1. Honestly feels pretty smooth. And has an anti-reverse. So it's, it's not a, a very universal anti-reverse. It's got to go back to the gear a little bit, but I mean this whole this whole thing by the way was about uh, 19 bucks so here's the rod looks like a giant pin I'm not 
sure. <laughs> no. Okay, I was right the first time. I'm gonna break it as soon as I open it. That's my style. Pull the end off. Okay. There. I think that's supposed to still be together. the telescoping, telescoping. Put the reel on. That, that's, that holds the first part in place, I, I guess. That ring is supposed to be on the other side of you, but we're going to just get you together. Wow. Okay. And next section. little eyelets are so cute. They're the tiniest things I've ever seen. Look at these things. There's no way that focused on it. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's even another one. Oh, look at the little guy. All right. You know, honestly, this doesn't feel terrible. It is very light. Okay. Well. Alright. So, I don't really know what size this is. And I, I don't know if it's... If any of this is heavy enough. I'm going to try out the um, trout magnet first. I'd like to try and hook a little bluegill or something. I know if I get a bass on this thing, it's going to be it's going to be a show. So, um, it, I do like that this line is at least uh, going to be a little bit more visible. That real thin line isn't going to be very visible, but this sure should be. Um, I see a lot of activity along the bank here, um, and I know there's bluegill and small bass in this cove. So we're going to see what we can do. Hopefully this is heavy enough to cast. I could put a piece of split shot on it if I have to. I have that with me. But, uh, I don't know. First cast. Let's, let's see what happens. It is a little bit windy. But it's out there. And I'm just going for bluegills, so... One thing about this line is it's got a ton of memory in it still. Lord knows how long it's this line's been on this reel. Probably a really long time. So we're stepping it up to this little guy, a little micro crankbait. Uh, a blue one of these was actually what caught fish in, I believe, my very first video. So, uh, it'll be nice to see if I can get something on this. It doesn't cast a heck of a lot better, but it does have some resistance. A little better.
Oh no. This lure has been a little too difficult for this rod and reel, really. And I just don't think I'm putting it in front of any fish that would be able to do anything with it. I definitely lost a lot of line on that because of that wind knot, which gives me my first review piece of information is don't trust the line that comes on these, which I think I probably already, already knew. Cause there's no telling how long how old it is how long it's been sitting on this reel so the memory that it has excuse me, the memory that it has in it is just unreal ah, unreal so i ran out of time to get a fish today uh but i can give you an honest review of this thing um it sucks uh is it worth the money Probably not. Um, I will be doing another uh, video with it. I'll follow this video up with another video with it. Uh, I just need to restring it and I don't have time. It's literally Thanksgiving and I have to get back to the house to um, help, help get things going. So um, I hope you liked this video. If you like what I'm doing, wanna see more of it, subscribe to the channel, hit subscribe, hit that bell. So you get notified every time I upload new content. Um, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next trip.